Hey man, I've been watching some cartoons, a good handful of cartoons, and that got me thinking, Cartoons 2020. For the past three years, I've unintentionally made a yearly tradition for this channel to talk about current cartoons briefly, as it still airs in current time as of recording. It may sound like another channel does this concept as well. Hey, fuck you. Thundercats Roar. What can be said about this show that hasn't already been said? Uh, it's funny sometimes. You know, I'm gonna put it like this. It's not a terrible show. It's just a show that seems uh, unneeded. I don't know. You guys remember Mad from back then, right? Imagine like a, a Thundercat short. Yeah, yeah, that's what this show is. It, it, it feels like some shit I would watch on Newgrounds, which is... I'm not sure if that's a good thing or not, but for this to be on the screen and for uh, people to be working on it and have their work be shown on multiple TV sets, I would have to say that it's a job. I would say well done after that, but yeah, eh, eh. Woo, good stacks, yeah, yeah, good stacks. Okay, now what can I say that won't get me in trouble? Um, the main characters are <clears throat> fun. One more so than the other, but in all seriousness, for a show to go through like actual video game culture, like the coding, the programming, and like stuff like that, I think that's really cool. And I'm not just saying that because I'm in college for it. However, I do think that this show is for an acquired taste. Like, if you don't understand a good majority of these references, you probably won't like the show as much as, say, me and like all the other nerds. I really wish there was much more I could say about the show, but it's been in production limbo for like. I don't know how long. We only got nine episodes so far. However, there's gonna be even more episodes to come. Only after we recently got the announcement. Hey, I know what that means. More overly developed Asian teens, baby. Miko Jam. <laughs> Out of all of the Fox animated attempts that they made throughout the years, I have to say, Duncan Bill is far my favorite. Well, that one Napoleon Dynamite show was too, but apparently I couldn't get more than that, so I guess I gotta. I guess I gotta just roll with this. Now, by the show's title, you would think that the show is all about the main boy character, Duncan, but the show is actually about Duncan's mom and his family coming of age, which I found kind of refreshing since all the promos for the show made it seem as though the show was all about this quirky, hormonal, socially awkward teenager that we've seen a million times. Now, like for real, I thought the show was gonna flop, but after seeing them branch out the characters, mainly the mom, I would like to say that this show needs a season two. Hey Fox, I, I I know it's hard for me to ask, but you know, can, can, can I get some more please? Can I have a full bowl? Hey man, hey, hey, hey man, I ain't gotta say nothing. Brenda's song is in this joint, therefore it got all of my attention. However, this is one of those cartoons that is gonna turn story driven um, towards the end. And I don't know how I feel about watching more cartoons like this. I, I, I'm, I'm trying to have fun, man. I'm, I'm, try, I'm, I'm trying to see somebody get beat up. I know it's fine for all you Gravity Falls tier analysts out there. But me, y'all know me, man. You, I, I love that Nettie. I, I, I want to see more stuff like that. I like Clarence. Can't you see I'm a dumbass consumer? I don't want to go back to the last episode to see what happened. Can't you see I'm a dumbass consumer? I don't want to go back to the last episode to see what happened. Mexican Loud House, let's get it. For all you newcomers out there, I'm sure you're gonna find it strange to see how this black man knows about Mexican culture and whatnot. But I have to tell you, I review Mucha Lucha, fucking El Tigre, and I watch every single episode of El Chavo Del Ocho. Man, I, I know what I'm talking about. I, I, I think I know what I'm saying here. And I can say right now that this show is better than The Loud House. At least it's more interesting in my opinion. I don't know, maybe I just enjoy the idea more that I'm experiencing another culture within a kid's perspective. This could have worked with any other race, mind you. So that's why I think that this is better than white kid, the 38 sisters. Yeah, it wouldn't necessarily be the first minority spinoff that we got, but I know damn well it's gonna be 10 times better considering that the actual minorities writing the show. Uh, you know, for this one, I really had to sit and settle down to really think if I wanted to make a full-on video on this show or not. There's so many people that said what already needed to be said about this show, and people who will say it much better 
than I ever could. But I'm gonna just go ahead and give you my two cents so you guys can at least hear it before I disappear at the face of the world. A lot of people like Steven Universe, the series as a whole, while I like the music more than anything else. I mean like the movie, the movie fucking blew my mind. Oh my God, have you guys, have you guys heard change? You can make it better. Um, it, I, I'm, I'm not, I'm, I'm gushing, I'm gushing. Everybody keeps saying that Other Friends is the definitive song, but you you guys are normies. You, you don't know music? Fuck out of here. What's your favorite Thundercat song? What, you don't have one? Get musical tangent aside. I like to say that Steven Universe Future focused more on emotion and that's what the series was made for. You've seen this fucking kid go through childhood trauma all the way till now and we was expecting a happy-go-lucky happy ending. But no, we got to see how all of that fucked him up. That one scene of Steven Universe talking to kids around his age about his life and Connie didn't interfere with it, that, that was the most awkwardest interaction I'd ever seen a cartoon character do. And the fact that Connie could have stepped in at any moment to fix that was, was very hilarious to me. Now, I'm not gonna harp on too much about the themes of the season. However, there's two things that would have made the show uh, 10 times better for me, in my opinion. This is my opinion, by the way. Uh, if Jasper would have fucking died, fucking like the, the whole gym just exploded, n n never to be seen again. If, if Steven actually gone through with killing Jasper and not reviving her, I feel as though that would have been an even bigger payoff for him not controlling himself. He needs to realize, oh shit, I kill people. Ew! That and also each character in the intro saying, here we are in the future instead of Paradox. I think that would have been crisp if all 10 episodes would have had a different character saying, here we are in the future instead of just Paradox all the time. They, they had something, they could have just fucking, man I, man, I can't wait for the show to reboot, man. I, I got so many ideas. Oh damn, it's that one show that was gonna save Cartoon Network. Uh-oh, what do you mean it didn't save Cartoon Network? What the fuck is saving Cartoon Network? Well, here's what it did do. Teach millennials about the cameo song, Word Up. Wave your hands in the air like you don't care and glide by the people as they stop to look and stare. But so far for a story-based series, I'm very glad it's not as convoluted as it could get. I was able to keep up with it. I actually watched every episode as it aired and I gotta say, I, I was I was pretty, I was enjoying myself. I, I, I like this. It did the themes of divorce very beautifully. And then book two happened. I swear to God, I hate all the characters in season two. Like it, it didn't stick with me as much as book one. I, I, I get what they're doing. Uh, I kind of just don't like following the perspective of a dick going out of their way to be a dick. Of course they realize how mean they're being towards the end, but I, well, I, 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 don't, I, don't, I don't like you. I don't like you towards the end though. Oh my God, guys. We're at the end, we're at the end. This is my uh, final show for this video. And I, I I cannot explain to you how much I love this show. I love, I love Venture Brothers with a passion. So when this show came out, I, I didn't even watch it when it first came out. But when I eventually did and realized it's like, it's written like, it's written like bench. I love it. It's so great. It's so good. Look, look, look at this. I'm Jewish, and today I'm a man. Oh, that's right. I forgot I'm talking to a newly grown man. I mean, after all, you've already finger banged somebody. Wait, what? I mean, you have, haven't you? You didn't lie about such an important milestone, right? Yeah, it happened. Are you sure? The intricacies to the dialogue is so is so beautifully done. They write these superheroes to talk to each other like this shit is actually taking place in real life. And and I can't explain it. It's just it's just so on the nose for how actual people talk. And that's why I like Venture Brothers so much. So whenever I hear Harley Quinn be like, Great to see you. Where you been hiding? On your left, where you can't see shit. <laughs> <laughs> Writing like that thrives my soul. And this is a very controversial opinion, but this is the first DC animated series that I didn't feel like it was a chore to get through episodes. Especially with, got a BB, got a BB. And I know a lot of people like the Justice League show, but uh, it, it, it's kind of boring. I, I, you, you guys know me. If it wasn't this, it could get out of here. And Harley Quinn is one of those shows to hold my attention span on par with the greats. I haven't seen season two yet, but more than likely I'm gonna watch it right after this video. So get as much information as you can from this. So I, I won't, you know, I, I'm, not, I'm not spoiling you. I, I, I'll be spoiling myself. And with that being said, 
that just about does it for Cartoons 2020. Hey, D-Dub Man, how come you haven't talked about any of the latest shows that I like? You know what? You're absolutely right. I'm open to discussion. What do you want, what, what, what do you want to talk about exactly? Oh, Big Mouth? Oh, uh, uh, that's awful. Hey, uh, congratulations on... Insert subscriber milestone here. Aw, oh, thank you. I couldn't have done it without Tiana Trump, Monkeys, and Capri Sun. Hey, uh, D-Dub Man, can I, can I get a kiss? Hey, you know what? Sure thing, baby. Come here. Mm.